Come here. Hey, kid. You want to buy some mags? <coughs> oh, crap. It's feds. Hey, everybody. It's Nicholas Rogers with the big timber. <laughs> Look. Coming back at you today with another awesome video where we're going to be taking a look at the new PSA Dagger Micro Magazines. Well, they're not really new. It's not like a next generation of the Dagger Micro Mags. It's just the fact that I finally, <laughs> after almost half a year of trying to get my hands on some black finish mags, finally was able to get some. And um, yeah, so <laughs> let's jump right into this. All right. Go ahead and open this up. <laughs> All right, no, oh, it's too good. Oh. So what are we doing? Well, why am I making another video? Well, I want to know if these three black finished PSA Dagger Micro Mags have had better quality control checks than the previous versions that came out. And we'll see, I like that black finish. I like it better than my Micro Slick. Even though my micro slick's giving me zero issues. Oh, it's clean. Clean. Ooh, that spring's tight. Hmm, how pretty is that? Hmm. <laughs> so it wouldn't be a big timber lodge video unless i said hey check out my 945 industries pack right <laughs> i don't know why i got the giggles today but i do but anyways gonna be taking my glock 43x with me to the range and this is a factory Glock 43X, aside from the rapid engineering backstrap. But um, yeah, currently I'm rocking the PSA Dagger Micro Slick Finish mags in this pistol. And as my backup magazine, because this Glock 43X has a factory OEM polymer mag catch, which is why people love these dagger micro mags because it has the polymer overmold on the front of the metal magazine body and that allows you not to have to purchase an extra part for your gun which is a metal magazine catch which is nice right saves you money and it keeps this as factory as possible and for my diehard glock fanboys that say glock perfection is everything they don't want to have to swap out any sort of functioning part on this pistol, but they still might want to have that 15 round mag. And so they're willing to compromise with the PSA Dagger Micro, whereas they don't want to swap out a metal mag catch and switch over to a Shield Arms S15, which I get. I, I truly can sympathize and empathize and understand why you feel that way. And so that's why I'm making this video. Now, some people are probably wondering, why would you buy the black finish versus the micro slick finish? Then I'm going to be honest. I'm just kind of OCD. When the mag's in, you can actually see a little bit of that chrome sticking out the bottom, and I don't like it. Whereas with the PSA Dagger Micro black finish, is black like the factory so you don't have that little bit of chrome and it looks more like a factory mag and i just like that that's just me it's my ocd if you don't like that don't watch my videos right you know but everybody's got that one little thing that kind of like eh, i don't really like that tweak it a little bit and it'll be perfect now with that being said 
These micro slick finish mags from PSA have given me zero issues. Zero. I am talking I have had zero failure to feeds, zero jams, zero malfunctions with the slick finish mags. So I am hoping that with the black finish mags, I can get the same thing. I really am. So I don't want to sit here and take these all apart and look at it underneath the microscope. I think we all just want to see, do they work? So I'm going to do the break in with these, which is going to be load them up fully, unload them, load them, load them, unload them, load them, load them, unload them. And you're going to do that like 10 times with each one. And I will definitely be using a mag loader because if they're anything like their silver cousins, though, these springs are tight, 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 yeah. So let me load these up, unload them 10 times, and um, I'll see you at the range. All right, so we're at the range, and I have my three PSA Dagger Micro magazines in the black finish, as well as my two slick finish mags, just in case we have some sort of issue with these. Now, these have been broken in, as I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and see how they fire. Now, that slide closed without any sort of hesitation. It felt like a PSA Dagger Micro Mag when I loaded it. So let's just go ahead and... And when I say no hesitation, I, I think you know what I mean. It's, it's sometimes as the slide comes back and then it goes to load another round into the chamber it feels like it's getting a little caught up i'm not getting that at all no issues so magazine number one working like a champ all right magazine number two that felt great too i mean the slide closed perfectly with zero hesitation <laughs> zero hiccups man this thing is just running no issues wow all right so you know i mentioned earlier i wanted to see if the quality control was better with this version or this i don't want to say generation because there's no improvement to the actual dagger micro magazine but let's be honest when these were first released there were not a lot of people saying they were having issues, but there was enough that you started to see it on the internet, in forums, and on YouTube videos. And I didn't have any issues with my two Dagger Micro Slick Finishes, but I did end up making a two-part series about how you could fix part of the problem. And part of the problem was that the overmold on the magazine body wasn't properly sanded down on the inside, or the follower had a little bit of burring and it was getting stuck on the plastic polymer coming through the holes of the magazine body to keep the overmold in place. All right, let's go ahead and run magazine number three. especially now that I have this rapid engineering backstrap, the large backstrap, which gives me a longer length of pull, but also prevents me from getting any slide bite with the 43X or the 48. Such an improvement. Zero issues. I mean, these PSA Dagger Micro Mags are running perfectly. And honestly, I didn't expect anything else. So let me go ahead and load these back up and we'll get back at it. Okay, so I have the Glock 43X and I have my micro slick finish. Well, this isn't about these mags, but I'm going to use this to stop the pig. So I loaded one round in and now this is magazine number three that I shot previously. It's loaded, loaded just fine. There was no hesitation. There's a good amount of extra space in the bottom of the PSA Dagger Micro Max that you're not going to have an issue 
pushing this in like I do with my SIG P365X macro attack ops. It secures well, doesn't take much power. And then let's go ahead and just run this quickly. Well, no issues. All right, so mag number three works. Go ahead and stuff the pig. Wee, wee, with mag number two. No wish. Woof. Oh, we need to stuff the pig first. Sure. Uh, there it is. And mag number one goes in very easily, secures itself. Man, no issues. Running like a champion. I'm going to go ahead and load up some more. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the lodge. <laughs> and I had a great day. I shot hundreds of rounds through all three of these black finish dagger micro mags, and I had zero issues. Zero. I mean, the, it loaded into the pistol just fine. There was no hesitation closing the slide. The slide never hesitated when I was cycling rounds, and it just worked. Zero malfunctions, zero stove pipes, failure to feeds, extracts. It was a good day. Any day that I get to go to the range and shoot hundreds of rounds with zero malfunctions is a good day. <laughs> Just like being on my motorcycle and getting at least 100 miles in a day is a good day, right? And also too, I hope you guys realize that I am just a normal person like you. I am not some crazy tactical dude, nor am I making any of the gear that you see in front of me. I just love shooting. And the reason why I'm making these types of videos is because I want you as a shooter and as a consumer to be able to know if your purchase is going to be a wise decision. If you're saying, hey, I don't really have that much money and this magazine is almost 30 bucks. Is that a good buy? That's why I make these videos. You know, I'm a straight shot, not a bullseye shot. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. I'm a pretty good shot, but I'm gonna show you when even I miss. And I hope that transfers down into my reviews as well, so you know that if I tell you something like this PSA Dagger Micro Magazine works perfectly, you can trust it. All right, everybody, till next time, peace. <laughs>